The Queen is taking Meghan Markle and Prince Harry under her wing as she gave her permission for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to base their new household's office at Buckingham Palace. The monarch has seemingly decided to take a closer look on how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's communications will be handled, with their staff, led by by American Sarah Latham, having to report directly to the Queen's communications secretary. Mrs. Latham who had served on Hillary Clinton's 2016 electoral campaign team and was an assistant to Bill Clinton during his presidential years, will lead Meghan and Harry's communications team, and on to the Duchess of Sussex's U.S. origins. Buckingham Palace announced the development in a statement, the Queen has given her permission for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to base their household office at Buckingham Palace. Their Royal Highnesses will appoint new communications staff who will form part of the Buckingham Palace communications team and report to the Queen's communications secretary, Donald McCabe. Kensington Palace will continue to support their royal highnesses until that team is in place. The household office is expected to move to Buckingham Palace within weeks, but until then Meghan and Harry will continue sharing Kensington Palace with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William. Meghan and Harry will also move their home from London to Windsor's Frogmore Cottage ahead of the birth of their first child, due this spring. Buckingham Palace's statement continued, The Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage. This news comes days after Kensington Palace's new guidelines fans must stick to if they want to get in touch with royals, following the wave of online abuse Meghan has been subjected to in the past months. Kensington Palace's statement said, These guidelines are in place to help create a safe environment on all social media channels run by the royal family, Clarence House, and Kensington Palace. Meghan and Kate in recent months had become the targets of an increasing number of sexist comments, racist slurs and personal attacks by trolls on the royal family's social media. This vile abuse forced the royals to censor comments before publishing social media guidelines were published. A source told Hello! Magazine, the palace has always monitored comments but it's a hugely time-consuming thing. They can block certain words, but some of it is quite serious. Over the course of last year, with hundreds of thousands of comments, there were two or three that were violent threats. You can delete and report and block people and the police have options around particular people. It's something you have to manage because there's no other way to control it.